never forget that a gunfight is just a fight with a gun. You gotta win the fight above all else. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson. Comes to us out of Brazil, shows a security guard on night duty and a guy who's going to run up to him and they're going to have a running gun battle. And by running, I really mean running. They're going to come together and they're going to show us the importance not only of your firearm skills and being able to accurately put shots on target quickly, but also the willingness to move and an understanding of when to transition from firearm skills to empty-handed skills to win the fight that you happen to be in in the moment. This one starts really fast with the guy on the bike already shooting as he comes up upon the security guard who shoots at him several times, but now the fight closes to hand-to-hand to -hand distance, extreme close quarters combat. And if you go watch the original video, it's over three minutes of them fighting on the ground. There are a few transitions like this. Now we see him fighting on the ground. Each one has a hold of the other one's gun. The, the bad guy there just takes a huge stomp at the guard and now starts just whacking him in the head like crazy with his pistol. And the guys are gonna get up and the fight is still on. Now I want you to imagine this. How many times have you had a close quarters fight for your gun in training for three to four minutes. I think it's gonna be very rare and these guys are going back and forth trying to take each other's firearm, trying to get them loaded because they're jammed up and not functional. Finally, the guard goes down and the bad guy runs off with his gun. So I wanna go back and I wanna learn some lessons here about this and I just wanna start here. This guy is already shot at the guard at this kind of distance here. What do we have here? Probably somewhere on the order of 10 to 15 yards, You know, kinda of hard to tell, but can you put shots on target accurately there? Get both hands on the gun, guys. Now the fight is going to really close and it's gone from this long distance, you know, 10 yard or 15 yard gunfight here to bad breath distances. And are you ready in that moment to, to transition from your shooting skills to your hand fighting skills? And this security guard, unfortunately, didn't have the kind of shooting skills that we wanted to have as self-defenders. Uh, or at the very least didn't have the kind of effect that we wanted. And now what we see here is it doesn't have that kind of hand-to-hand -hand fighting skills that we want. Now the bad guy there you see uses his feet uses a tool there that he's got in his hand as a bludgeoning tool as well. Those are unfortunate but good lessons that we learn as self-defenders as well. And you've got to be able to grapple, guys. You've got to be able to fight in a close quarter engagement. You've got to use not only hands and feet but elbows and knees and bites and everything else that you have available to you in these kind of fights. And they get brutal in a hurry and they hurt you in a hurry and eventually usually somebody wears out like this and that's how this one ends as well. Boy Aspers, this shows the full spectrum of the fight. We saw the fight start with situational awareness, we saw it transition to firearm skills, go to empty handed skills on the feet, and finally to ground skills, grappling skills, and the five Ds. It was all here. Unfortunately, this guard doesn't appear to have made it. So I wanna use this to remind us all of the importance of having a well-rounded self-protection regimen, to have attitude skills and plan that goes far beyond being able to draw your gun, drive it out there and shoot, but also includes empty-handed skills, ground fighting, the five Ds, remember that, deflect, dominate, distract, disarm, disable, so that you're ready to take that firearm away from someone else if you have to, or to defend yours from being taken away. Aspers, I can't tell you enough, you gotta have that well-rounded self-defense. And I know so many who have one side or the other, they're martial artists or combatives people or they're firearms carriers. I'm gonna encourage, urge, exhort you to be both because only when you have all of those skills together are you truly ready for whatever fight comes your way to cover your ASP.